The capacitor kit came in for the Stereo 80, the Dynaco Stereo 80. So this is what I'm going to be doing. This cap replaces this cap. These two replace these two. And this one replaces this one. Now as you can see, zoom in a little bit here, these caps are puking all over and kind of nasty. So what I'm going to do is mark the wires. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. I'm going to have to check that, see if I can clean that off. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to desolder, disconnect these, uh, remove these from the clamps, put the new ones in, screw down uh, the wires in, in on the new uh, capacitors, and wire it up. All right, so that's what I'll be working on. New caps are installed. And what I want to do, though, and I may, I'm probably, I'm going to recap the amp boards eventually. They actually sell new amp boards. I'm going to see uh, kind of what those amp boards do. But I do want to test these old caps just to see how off they were. This is a thousand microfarad, and it's puking all over the top. And this one is 1160. Zoom out. So 1160, that's not horrible. This is a 5000. And these were the two, what are these? These are 5000s as well. It's still going. 5572. And yeah, I'm not sure the uh, why these are wrapped with this wire. I kept it this the same way it was. I think it looks kind of different. Okay, so this one was off a little bit. 63. Yeah, this was a 5000 as well. So what I'm going to do now is put the cover back on. Oh, and I do want to show you that. I think I mentioned, I may have mentioned, I don't know, I'm getting losing track of my videos. I repainted the cover and it is kind of a coffee brown, mocha brown. I think it looks pretty, I think it looks good like this. Oh, I do have to find a foot too. So I've got a whole box full of feet. I'm going to have to find that. <clears throat> and uh, before I put this on, I need to find a foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find the foot, put the top back on, and then I'm going to connect this to my PAT4 preamp. I'm going to connect it to some uh, Bozax that I have over here on my other bench. And we're going to see what it sounds like. I realized I hadn't uh, shot a video showing the Dynaco working, and I was shooting another video uh, regarding these Bozak speakers. But... Um, so there is something that I still need to work on, but I'm going to close this out for now. So the amp is working just fine and sounds great. Uh, listening to some Jane's Addiction there. And they sound, sound really good, especially through these big old Bozak speakers. Uh, I did find that there is an issue with volume, so you won't be able to tell, but at really low volume, like right there, I'm getting sound through that speaker, not through this one. Now if I turn it up a little bit and then turn it back, then the volume on both channels kind of, kind of evens, evens out. So the volume pot, I ordered a new one from Upgrade My Dynaco or Update My Dynaco. So I'll be putting that in. Uh, I, I bought, I had to buy some screws. I lost the screws for this mesh piece here that, that hold it from the bottom. And then I ordered some um, actual, some replacement Dynaco feet for the PAT4. I had to, I couldn't find a single matching foot for the Stereo 80, 
but I did have some other feet that are actually the same color or very close in color to the uh, the color I chose for uh, the re the repaint of the cabinet and the and the grill the mesh. So uh, to kind of even it out, those other feet that I got from Update My Dynacore are taller. They're not quite this tall, but they are taller, so it'll increase a little bit of the space there, provide for better airflow. Haven't done any work to the amp board yet, but I will at some point in time. I've got to kind of uh, put this to the side for a little bit uh, once I get that volume pot installed, which will be another part. Uh, once I get the volume pot installed, then I will probably just set this uh, up somewhere and listen to it. So anyway, I needed to uh, shoot this because I realized for this particular part that you're watching, I never shot a video showing the Dynaco working. So not that you can really tell, you know, on a video how good it sounds or anything. So anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. So if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.